Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about things that I am over. I'm over it. I'm over seeing them. I'm over them coming out and I'm not talking about specific brands or specific items. I might give an example as to what I am like talking about as a reference, but these are just things that I'm tired of being released. Like I don't know, they bore me and I don't get excited and I want to be excited about makeup again. Like, let's be real. I get excited about makeup, but I'm just not excited about these things whenever they come out. So I'm going to give you guys a list and you guys just let me know if you agree with me or tell me some things that maybe you are kind of over being released over and over again as well. And to start that list off, I'm going to talk about liquid lipsticks. Again, no particular brand here at all. There's definitely brands that have better lip, liquid lipsticks and some that eh, I don't, don't like them at all. But what made me think of this was Natasha Denona released liquid lipsticks. And I was just like, nope, mm-mm. I don't want them. I am so much more into either a matte, like regular liquid, like regular liquid lipstick, either a regular matte lip or a glossy lip or what I'm really excited about and what I would really love for just all the brands that have come out with liquid lipsticks to now do is that Demi Matte Formula from Huda Beauty and the Va Va Plump Shiny Liquid Lips from Buxom. I love those. I don't want my lips to look cracky. They look amazing when you first put them on. You can make your lips look a little bit bigger and they come in so many different colors, but I'm just, I'm way, way over liquid lips. I'm, I'm, I'm also over metallic lips. <laughs> So metallic liquid lipsticks or metallic lips in general, not glosses per se, because I think that those can be really pretty put over top something, you know, like a shimmery gloss or something like that, but just straight up metallic lips. Like, I feel like I'm seeing them more and more. I'm like, is this becoming a trend? Because I'm not down for it. I don't want the, the matte... <laughs> Welcome to the Mel Show. <laughs> I am over the metallic lipsticks. I think Too Faced released like the whole collection and MAC did about a year or so ago. And I just, I thought it was like there and then it was going to be gone. But I keep seeing more and more and more of these metallic lipsticks. And I just, I don't know. They, they don't give me the feels. Matte foundations. I like matte foundations, don't get me wrong. There's a few in my collection that I absolutely, you could not pry out of my hands. However, that seems to be all that's being released. It's like, oh, the brand new 24 hour matte, this is a matte, this is a matte. And I'm just like, no, I want like a satin, I want dewy, I want long lasting skin perfection. I'm a combo girl, so it's not like I can't wear mattes or I can't wear the other. I'm just tired of seeing the same style. And I'm like, we are moving into the cooler mutts. I'm gonna need some hydration here. Just give me a little bit of hydration or even meet me in the middle. Like it could be a satin mat or just somewhere in between. I don't want something that is thick and stuck on my skin, looks like makeup. And like I said, there's a few of them that I really do like and they look amazing on camera. Like if I wanna look my absolute best on camera, I'm gonna put on a matte foundation. It's just that they keep on releasing them. I'm tired of it. Give me something new. I never thought the day would come that I would say that I was tired of warm tone palettes, but I am. I really am. <laughs> there was a time where all I wanted was warm tone palettes. And don't get me wrong, I'm still gonna buy another one. I know I am. The new Pat McGrath one that's coming out, I would consider to be warm tone, but the difference is it's a variety. And I think the warm tone that I am speaking of are the ones that have five different oranges in them, five different transitions of like, let me think, soft brown from MAC, you know, there's a rule from MAC in there. They're just very orangey in tone. Even the browns are 
a red brown. I want some neutrals, like straight up neutral or slightly cool. You can even add in that warm transition shade if you want to, to make some people feel comfortable. Cause I understand not everybody likes cool or neutral tones on their eyes, but I feel like I, I just don't see it anymore. I never see these tones. And I got asked, please put out the your list of your favorite cool tone palettes. And I was like, I really don't have that many. I don't have that many. It's like I have to pick from different things to get the eye look that I want. And I, I just don't see them. And I would just love, love to see a neutral cool tone palette that wasn't, you know, completely all gray here, like have a little bit of an imagination with your colors. You can tweak cool and neutral tones just like you can warm tones. Just give them to me. I need them. Bring them to mama. And with that, I am also tired of all shimmer palettes. I was okay with them when they first were coming out because I was like, okay, it's fine. I like all these shades and I'll just incorporate something else. But I don't want to. If I pull out a palette, then I want to just use that palette. If I pull out singles, well then that's fine. I'm gonna, you know, pull from my singles, but there's something about having to pull out. Maybe I'm just high maintenance. You know, I can admit this, you know, from me to you, I can admit I'm a little high maintenance, but I'm just tired of the all shimmer palettes. Give me some all matte palettes. I'm down for that, which doesn't make any sense because if I wanted a shimmer, then I would have to go get the single. But I think that I'm just so tired of seeing just a palette of 15 topper shades. I'm like, I just don't want that anymore. Like, make it stop. Go away. I'm done. Glitter highlights. And I'm talking about like straight up glitter highlights, not the ones that have a little bit of a base to them. So you have that reflection, but then you also have the glitter. That doesn't bother me at all. Here for it, I like a high shine, wet look. I don't mind glitter sometimes. I'm talking about more along the lines of think, Kat Von D's anniversary highlighter. That was straight up glitter. Like there was no base behind it at all. It was just glitter, it was everywhere. And then her palette that she had out, that was good, it had a base to it. So it was glittery, but it also had like that smoothness behind it. If you're coming out with a glittery highlight, make sure there is something that is going to adhere to the skin and make it look smooth, even though there's glitter in it. So I'm seeing a lot of this, and what is it, Fenty is coming out with one, and I'm a little concerned, like I wanna buy it because I wanna support her brand, but then like I didn't buy the Stila one that came out, well I don't know, something new, I don't know, but it looked just like straight up glitter. I might chance it with this new Fenty, but I, if it is straight up glitter, I'm going to be so mad because I just don't want, and it, it ends up all over your face, all over your face. So no. The next one you guys might think, okay, we haven't been seeing that many and we haven't, but what made me think of this is MAC. So contour palettes. I, I think contour palettes are done. They had their moment and I think now we are all into like the glowy skin and or maybe it's just me, I don't know. But they're coming out with this contour palette. I'm like, honey, you are five years too late. And they are shades that you can already get online as singles and I have all these shades. But I don't know. I just, I think people have gotten past the contour palettes or you already have 10 of them and you really don't need another one so that is probably one of the least exciting things i can see is a contour palette come out like oh you've got your under eye setting and then you've got your five different contour shades but really i can only use one i am not excited about a contour palette at all like I, I don't care who brings it out unless you know you're bringing out something with two. Like at least change it up. So instead of releasing a contour palette that has six or eight or 10, I'm obviously exaggerating here, but if you're going to release a contour palette, come out with duos. Kind of like the Marc Jacobs did with the split pan and then Wet n Wild as well. Come out with something like that instead of these palettes because we don't use all of those shades and again not exciting 
And then the very last one might be something that maybe I'm the only one that feels this way, but I'm really tired of body oils. <laughs> And maybe it's because I feel like I can't use them that well because of the tattoos and they all seem to be very glittery. I don't know, they just look sticky to me. Like I'm putting on my clothes and I'm just like, Meh. but I keep seeing them. I, you know, at, at least recently, there's been several that have been released and I'm just like, I don't want to see another body oil. No more. I don't want any of it. And I have not bought a single one of those. The last body oil I bought was a year ago and it was the La Mer spray just because it looks so pretty and I, I love that but I'm only gonna wear it like if I have almost no clothes on. <laughs> I, like, I think it's gorgeous but I feel like after you have one body oil you don't need another one. I have that. I haven't gone through it yet so I don't need another one. I don't and I I'm just kind of tired of seeing them being released. So I feel like this was like a small rant video, like things I needed to get off my chest, like quit bringing these things out. I'm tired of it. But you guys let me know, what are you tired of seeing? And I'm sure I'm forgetting something and I'm going to be like, yes, girl, I agree with you down below. But let me know. Tell me if you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.